Hello, this is Stuart Earhart, and I'm here to teach you about the Shinobi Cube. It is a basic cube that is sort of fancy because it has an X on all six sides. It can be used in many different shapes and sizes, but I personally use 3x3 three three aluminum foil sheets. Start with the white side up on this module. This module is very simple and you will be very surprised with the result. Fold in half and unfold. Fold to the center crease. unfold. Fold the other side to the center crease. Then unfold. Turn it so the creases are facing away from you, or these two ways, and fold the corner up. That tiny little triangular corner. So you can do this. Sorry, that triangle wasn't very good. So if you have a nice triangle, you should be able to do this with a perfect corner right here. And then turn it so the corner is facing away from you and fold this corner to this crease. Now you have a nice little shape. And then rotate so this edge is facing that way from you. Then pull this little corner right here up and do the same thing. So we fold this up and then we fold this corner up. So now we have a weird looking unit thing that's very flimsy. So we unfold that last fold that we just did and we lift this little part up right here and then we tuck this corner inside. So now we have a nice little X right here. Make sure to crease every little crease right here. This is the time where you make it look excellent. Then flip it. Then this corner to this corner. And do the same to the other corner. So now you have a nice little square that when you flip it, you get an X. In case you didn't catch that, I'll fold it one more time. This is, an, uh, I'm making an oceanic cube, so I chose three colors, which is like a teal, a green, and a blue. I, I recommend this. It makes a very nice cube. I made two of each, two of each color. Then fold to the middle, both sides. This is a three by three foil square in inches. Three inches by three inches, or about, I guess, nine, eight centimeters. Then fold this corner up. Then 
fold up. So you have this nice little corner here. And then fold this triangle to this line. And then turn it and do the exact same thing. Sorry, this triangle was kind of bad. It was a weird fold on my part. Then we fold this up until we get this wacky unit. It's kind of tealish if you can see. Lift this pocket up, this one right there, and fold this triangle in. So you get this. This is the time to crease everything. Crease everything you fold until you get a nice, pretty little X. Then flip it and fold. Fold the two corners in. And stand them to 90 degrees. You will need to make six units in total to assemble the cube. What you do first is take a unit, take another unit, and there's a little pocket right here, if you can see. There's also a pocket right here. I'll be using this pocket. So right here, here's the X. Then we stick this in, and then here's the X. We just stuck that little flap in there. Then we take another one of the same color as this teal one in this case, turn it to the other side, and insert it. Whoa. So we get this. Now that sort of looks fancy, but it's going to be like that on all sides. So take another color that is completely different from the rest, your third color. And see here? Insert this. And then you'll see, if you see the green, here. Yes. That there's another pocket you need to insert it into. So insert it into the pocket, right, right, right here, right here. But we also have this weird flap. So we're going to need to stick that in this pocket, right here. And now we have a nice little thing. And then we take this other blue side and connect it. Notice there are two things here, two little flaps that want to be stuck in the pockets. So stick them in the pockets. So then you'll get this face. And then insert the last piece into the correct place. Slide it in. Slip it in. And then slip these two things in. These two little flaps. One second. Sorry. So there's
there's the first flap. And there is, excuse me for a minute. And if you need, you can go in and lift it up a little bit, which I need to now. And then after you insert the last bit, your cube is complete. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.